this is the inaugural flight or outing of the pickle patch for all you pickle bear fans out there this is our mobile pop-up country store hey everyone it's shane Lauren. with pickle bear and the pickle patch and today we're going to be talking about what the pickle patch actually is So, Lauren, what is the Pickle Patch? So, we had an idea last summer about having like a little trailer that we could cart around and sell products of. Like seriously, Gypsy came to mind. We wanted to be Gypsies. And then we saw this thing on Craigslist, and it was like the shell of a tiny home. And that, that store was really cool. Um, we could totally turn that into a little trailer that we can cart around and sell stuff out of. The fact that nobody else saw this thing and acted on it is yeah. absolutely crazy to me. Seriously. Um, but maybe uh, we're the crazy ones. Well, and we're, we're kind of the ones who saw it and we were like, we're not quite sure what we're going to do with it, but we should get it. But we had a good idea. But well, we had an idea. So we got it and turned it into a mobile country store. That was our vision. Uh, was to collaborate with other artisans that we've met. So just wholesale from these artisans and sell out of this trailer. And you can walk up inside it. We thought about what products we wanted. We started sourcing all of these things, reaching out to different vendors. And that's pretty much what we did all winter, was think about what we wanted to do. How did we want to brand it? What logo did we want? We actually had the logo. Then our first event was June 1st. It was very exciting. Um, we have had such great reception. We knew that the concept and just the store would draw people in. Um, people would be curious enough just to walk over because it literally looks like a tiny house. But then you walk up into a store and it's very country feel. It's very homey. It's very Colorado. And it's amazing. And it's been so well received come over just to see what it is, end up walking up inside. The Pickle Patch is a mobile country store and what I like about how we've done it is that it's not some consignment store. I like that we actually went and got our wholesale license and started wholesaling directly with these manufacturers of local products because it's much more fair to the vendors and in that kind of spirit we have like a, an agreement with all of these people that if we're at an event and they are also representing themselves at that event, we will just pull their product from the store for the day so that we're not directly competing with them for their own business. So. What I love about the, the products we've chosen is that none of them are massive companies. Like you might see one or two of their products in a couple of grocery stores, but a lot of these guys are, are smaller. It's helping smaller companies get a little bit of the same Yeah, we're, we're really good at talking up products that we believe in. Now, of course, we do focus on our pickles. That's what we can talk the most about. We, we make them by hand, so if anybody has questions, that's the easiest go-to for us. And of course, we want to sell as many pickles as possible. But we also want to make as many good networking contacts with as many local companies as we can because of our unique opportunity owning Colorado's first mobile country store. I, I don't know exactly how it all came together so seamlessly. It really did. Yeah. And people have been very complimentary of the interior, um, how we put it together, and the products that we have. We've had people say, Gosh, you, you're not overwhelming. You don't have too many products. Uh, there's not too much to look at, but there's a lot to look at. There is a lot to look at. Um, people are loving how the displays are done. Uh, everything, the signs, everything we have in there, people have been very complimentary of how we've done it, which has been a lot of warm and fuzzies. So, I mean, I can't tell you how proud we are of how well it's doing and it's being very consistent mm -hmm. so we partnered up with bolters farmers markets and shout they, out uh, to matthew and robin over at bolters they're awesome awesome to work with we've done you know a few smaller events we're doing those throughout the summer 
Right. Um, so we'll, we'll be at those ones through October. If you go to the Pickle Patch Facebook page, you can find the posts on with the addresses and whatnot on where those events are and, uh, and meet us when we're going to be there. Yep. The next large one is going to be the Park County Fair, and that's going to be in a, a five-day event, I believe. <laughs> so right now we're at the Park County Fair. On a Ferris wheel. We brought the Pickle Patch. Beautiful. You know, it's, I, I know it's just a Ferris wheel, but seriously, look at these mountains, though. <laughs> Really, then after that, the next weekend is Conifer Elevation Celebration, and that's a two day. Big event. Yeah. We don't have a large event in August. September is the event in Belmar, it's the Italian festival, oh, yeah. and we are uh, partnering with Walters again to be part of that. And then October, we have Cider Days, so we still have some, some good stuff. So we've got a lot of events planned, and we're really excited about the way that this is going. Come see us! Woo! Yeah, definitely. Come see us at one of our events. Reach out through Pickle Patch your Facebook page, and you can message us. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out directly or email us at mikepicklebear at gmail.com. You know, we can't do any of this without the people that buy our products and support us and share our, you know, our adventures with other people. So thank you to everyone. Like the Pickle Bear Facebook page, like the Pickle Patch Facebook page. Bye bye. I'm gonna try something really